Hello everyone on LesterBanks.com, I am Daniel Groteski and welcome to this new tutorial. In today's tutorial we are going to learn how to create what we see in this preview. As you can see we have the main text which is being revealed by blocks. This whole animation is automatic and surprisingly it has no keyframes at all. This tutorial is relatively short, so without losing any time, let's hop into After Effects and start creating. I'm in a completely new project file here, and I'm going to open up a new comp, so Ctrl N on my keyboard. I'm going to call it text, and I'm working in 1280 by 720, 25 frames per second, 10 seconds long, and click OK. To this text composition, I'm going to add a text, so select my text tool and type something. I'm using the Typograph Pro font. Using the Reposition Anchor Point tool, I'm going to center the text. Now into this text composition, you can add your text, your logo, your picture, your shape, or anything you want to reveal. I'm just choosing to use the text. Now let's create a new comp. Ctrl N again. I'm using all of the same settings. This time this comp is going to be called Map and click OK. Now let's create a new solid, Ctrl Y on the keyboard and I'm going to call it Fractal. Make sure it is comp size and by now you have probably guessed we are going to use the Fractal Noise effect. So from the Effects and Presets panel, let's find the Fractal Noise effect and pull it onto our solid. We are going to change its settings a little bit. Let's change the noise type from Soft Linear to Block and reduce the complexity from 6 to around 3 so we have less detail I'm going to open up the transform section and increase the scale to like 130 to make the blocks a little bit bigger I'm also going to decrease the brightness a little and increase the contrast and that's it for my map composition we are going to come to this composition a bit later and tweak a few settings if needed so let's open up a new comp and this time I'm going to call it base. I'm using all of the same settings so just click OK. Into this newly created comp I'm going to drop my two other comps and make sure the map is invisible so just poke the eye over here. I'm going to create a new adjustment layer in this composition so Ctrl Alt Y on the keyboard and to rename it Ctrl Shift Y I'm going to call it Time Displacement. Now if you've used After Effects for some time, you probably stumbled upon this effect. Not everyone had the time to experiment with this effect, but in this tutorial we are going to see how to use this effect for one purpose. In the Effects and Presets, I'm going to type Time Displacement and drop it onto my Adjustment layer. Change the time displacement layer from time displacement, which is my adjustment layer, to the map layer, which is the last one. Let's first make sure that the time resolution is set from 60 to 1. It will make things a lot faster. And now let's come to the fun part, where all the magic is happening. As I said before, we don't need any keyframes, and it is really so. In the text composition, I'm going to select my text layer or any other layer you're using and trim the length of the layer. So with the layer selected, hold out on your keyboard and click once on the left rectangular brackets. I'm going to jump to the third second of this comp and do the same by holding out and right clicking on the right rectangular brackets. We can also use our mouse to move this end and starting point of the layer and holding shift to snap it to its place. So basically we have our layer on the screen for only two seconds but when coming to the base composition we can see how it starts to reveal itself by the blocks from the map. And let's say you are not satisfied with the time it takes the text to appear you can simply decrease the max displacement time from 1 to let's say 0.5 and everything is happening a lot faster. If you are not satisfied with the amount of detail on the screen, which means you want more or less blocks, you can go into your map and change the fractal noise effect, which is very easy to use. 
and most of you probably know it very well so as you can see we have much larger blocks now I'm going to deselect the uniform scaling and just play a little bit with the scaling parameters and now see how it looks so we can achieve a lot of different effects using this let's go from block to soft linear so you can see how it would look if you didn't change it to block this looks like some kind of tear which is also a very very cool effect it's not that glitchy like we saw in the preview but it's definitely really really cool and I certainly like this effect looks like someone is tearing apart our text now because we are using here an adjustment layer we can go to the effects and presets and add a few other effects like rough and edges and I'm going to make the border a little smaller and the complexity a little higher and it just adds to this whole feeling and if I add some color to my border now I can go ahead and change the noise type to block again but I'm going to leave it on soft linear it doesn't really matter that's the base of our effect now as you saw in the preview we had some other colors behind our main text like the red and blue text let's go ahead and create it I'm going to create another comp I'm going to call it colors and I'm going to drop the base composition into the colors comp I'm going to duplicate the base comp to have three copies of it and from the effects and presets panel I'm going to select the fill effect and drop it onto my layer now ctrl c to copy it and paste it onto another layer I'm going to change the second copy to be blue and now take the last layer which is the one without the fill effect and place it on top of the stack now what I'm going to do is just sequence them a little so that's the correct order of sequencing and like this you can see how our text is being revealed from these colors if you go into your base composition and just for a second turn off the rough and edges effect come back to your colors comp you can probably see a few pixels left of these red and blue layers and I noticed it in my original example and I didn't really like it so to get rid of it go into your effects and presets panel and type inner and outer key and just drop it onto your colorful layers I'm going to increase the edge thing to 1 and just copy this effect and paste it onto our other colorful layer and now you will not see any color spilling out of these edges but the effect still looks pretty cool now as you can see it is being revealed in the way we expected but it doesn't really disappear this way so we want to see the red and blue colors when it disappears as well I'm going to color code the layers so this is going to be a blue layer and this one is going to be red and now I'm going to split these layers so right about here where it is about to split I'm going to go to edit and split layer just stack them together like this so this is how their sequence should look just leave a little gap over here because nothing is really happening in here and if you shift them like this and actually as you can see I also changed their order so the blue comes first and you are getting the effect you expected to see and it is being just stirred apart until there is nothing on the screen of course you can go into your text composition and add some keyframes to your text so let's do it I'm just going to shut off the colorful layers just to have it working a little faster back into my text composition I'm going to select my text and animate the position so keyframe it here and go a few seconds forward and give it another keyframe now in my base comp you would expect to see something but you actually see nothing except this which is a really cool transition in effect but it's not exactly what I was hoping to see you can transition in such a way 
of course bet between two texts by just stacking them one over the other but here we want to see something a little different so in the base comp in order to see the animation we expect to see we have to increase the time resolution so let's crank it up from 1 to 50 and now you can see how it is being actually transitioned like some liquid now it looks like this weird liquid because of our map if we change it from soft linear to block it will look different it will look blocky of course and if we make our blocks higher we should expect to see an interesting effect like a data glitching from top to bottom lately I've seen other tutorials on the time displacement effect so it actually inspired me to go ahead and experiment with this effect on my own you will have links to these other tutorials in the description down below and hopefully using all of these tutorials you will be able to grab the idea of this whole effect and be able to create your own creative stuff with it. I'm Daniel Brodeski for LesterBanks.com and if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask them. Check out the other tutorials on the site. They are pretty awesome and they are always updating. And I will see you next time.